after the 4-1 to whopping that was last game of the Slapshot Power team over the Slapshot Accuracy team, this time we're going to find out whether it's offensive awareness or defensive awareness that ends up winning games. If you're unfamiliar with the series, everyone on both teams, or I guess on every team, has 85 as a base stat for all of their stats. And then in a particular stat they'll have it maxed out to 99. And then we simulate and see what happens. Crazy thing here, offensive awareness, 99 overall, but for some reason their defense is also ridiculously high. I don't know how to feel about that. We are getting ready to drop the puck. There's a dude named Zowie on the offensive awareness squad. Offensive awareness are the home team in the dark jerseys. Defensive awareness in the light white jerseys. Zowie has the puck. He passes it back to Cardone to some other guy. Some other guy misses the net. What a hit by Sprong. And another hit probably by Sprong on the same guy. Doesn't doesn't like that guy, it seems. Malochi. Kemp. Kemp to Ether. Ether with an oh my god. That rebound backhander was was pretty cute. Bushnell, nice spin to get into the offensive zone. He passes it back. Bushnell gets it again. And uh, not that great. Not that great stuff happening. Hilton passes it to himself because he knew he was going to get hit. Offensive awareness, you know. Can't tell if that was on purpose or not. But since they're a defensive awareness, I assume it wasn't. Oh, nice one-timer in front of the net. And offensive awareness guys decide to uh, pass the puck out and not freeze it. Nice little move to get around that guy. And then a pass right into the net. Actually ends up making it 1-0. Huh. That was peculiar. Dylan with the flow. You can't really see that flow on his player, but that's okay. Wow. What a shot. That is going to be on highlight reels to come in the future. Probably not. Right in front of the net, but big long name guy ends up making the save. Mon Monty. Montem Montabil? Montabil. I'm not French. Don't look at me like I'm French. Bonjour. That's all I know. Montebio makes another save. Defensive awareness has a lot more time on attack than offensive awareness. That's weird. <laughs> what is this weird slap shot? That was like a chip slap shot. As Montebio makes a save. Hodor has the puck. Hodor passes it to the front, but couldn't quite find its recipient. Barry Boulay loses the puck by not winning that face off. Brisbois. That's a goal. For some reason, I thought I just heard the whistle. But I guess I didn't. Nice slap shot. Montebio just can't keep uh, putting this team on his back. Climax has it right now. Climax goes in. Hopefully he passes it back. He just went for the pass shot, the pass goal that we saw earlier in the game. See, learning from uh, the defensive awareness offensively, which is weird. Boschman somehow ends up getting that pass. We're not going to question it. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. Could be the save of the game if uh, they end up coming back. Can it still be the save of the game if they lose? Is that still considered a save of the game? I don't know. But with that, hopefully, like, their teammates or his teammates saw that. And they're going, alright guys, we, we've got to get our heads out of our asses. Because, uh, you know, we could be down by three right now, but we're not. And this goalie probably wants... To get subbed out so uh, someone else can 
I couldn't finish a sentence because I knew something there was gonna happen, but I just I just feel like watching and, and seeing. Cardinal Sin could not make that save. And now we're within one. So what I just said about the uh losing losing team making Oh look look at that fake one timer. Wow. Losing team uh getting the save of the game. Well I don't know. We still know the answer to that. I just felt like bringing it up again. X, four shots for offensive awareness. Not something you want to see out of your offensive awareness. And stuff happens. Goalie makes a save. A big hit. Right in front of the net. One timer, not good enough. He does not want to make it three to one. So he, he just keeps doing work. Niemi with the shot. Dubois in front of the net to get the redirect, and we're all tied up. Whatever. You, you have to come into this series expecting me not to be able to pronounce every name properly. And I'm going to keep getting excited about not the goal, but pronouncing the name. Because that's going to be waved off anyway. Nice try there. But Montembeu shuts him down. There's Climax taking a look at him. Pretty sure the goalie was just patting himself on the ass. Montembeu probably took some uh, some Adderall between periods one and two. Now he's focused. Nothing's going to get by him. Climax has the puck. Climax takes a quick shot, and my god, that goes off the iron. And then Montembeu comes up big, stopping the slap shot. Ten minutes left in the third period. There is overtime. Continuous overtime. 20 minutes, 5-on-5, five five, not 3-on-3. Three three. Angle of Heart has the puck, tries to pass it back, centers it. Oh, ho, ho, ho. why did that play get stopped? <laughs> that didn't answer my question on why that play got stopped. I think the refs might be working for the defensive awareness team. A tie-up by offensive awareness, passes it back. Not sure why that second pass was made to the front. That wasn't going to happen because dude's on his backhand. It's not a good shot. But who am I to judge? I'm not the one playing. Oh my god. Nice one timer in front of the net. Montembeu saves it. Passing it back to Meloche. And then they break out. Between the legs. Fake. Drop pass. Whatever. Causes that to go in. Wow. Wow, Adderall flavored Montembeu gives up a goal late in the third period, and defensive awareness is now up by one. Minute 32 to go. I imagine Montembeu probably wants to go in on his own to take a shot with the Adderall that he took. As Maloche takes that shot, Montembeu with the save. Sprung in front of the net. It goes in again. Now they're up by two. And offensive awareness will be getting disbanded as a team after this. All that work by the uh, defensive, no, the offensive awareness goalie, Montembeu. It's not good enough. Dude takes it to the face before the game ends. Might be injured for the next game. But it's all worth it, right? As we find out, defensive awareness is better than offensive awareness. That's the end of the game. 26 shots, defensive awareness. Next week, similarly to the slap shot, guys, we'll find out whether it's wrist shot accuracy or wrist shot power that takes it all.